your boy SLC. What up everyone, it's SLC. So today's video, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate basics. So for people that want to get into real estate, zero money down, you have to understand that it's the location that matters the most. The location that matters the most is because then that's when you can guarantee that people will be in those properties and then that is how you get passive income, right? So if you think about, okay, starting with zero money down, zero money down, then it's to find the property, to find the deal, and then it's to get a loan from the bank, depending on the interest, right? Three point um, like six, 7% interest. And we do that based off of a uh, 360 day term, so 12 months, right? And then depending on how many properties there are, depending on if it's an apartment, how many units there are, right? And so if we think about how to go from zero, right, zero money down, you find the deal, you find the property, location, 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 location is super important. Areas that are extremely populated and also have a lot of people emigrating to those areas, right? So Florida, 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 right? Um, places in Texas, places in Las Vegas, where a lot of people are migrating to, that's where we want to get into real estate. And also areas that are already established, areas that are packed, areas that have hella expensive properties. Those are the properties that we want to get to because if we have the best property in an area, some random ass multimillionaire, multi-billionaire is gonna buy that property and then we just charge like $10,000 a month for rent. You see what I'm saying? So if we take loans from the bank, right? 7% interest on a 360 day term, 720 day term, then it's to be able to cash flow, right? And then be able to profit and then slowly pay back um, the interest. However, what's crazy about the way that, you know, multimillionaire and multi-billionaires think, it's as soon as you get the loan from the bank and get the property, immediately pay off the entire loan. So then that way, once the cash flow comes in, you're only making profits. Then over time, you match what you spent and then boom, go above. And what happens is not only are you understanding how cash flow works, why I say you match it and then boom, go above, is because let's say there's a property that's $10,000 a month, right? And then you have to get a loan for, you know, a million dollars. Or so the property is $10,000 per month per unit. And if you wanna get the entire, entire apartment building, right? It's let's say it's a loan of a million dollars from the bank. However, over time, right, let's say there's a thousand people that live in that, right? What's 10,000 times a thousand times 12? Because it's per month. That is way past a million dollars. So then you pay back the bank and then you take your profits. Then immediately, right, because cash is trash, we immediately go and find another property and then just put all the money into the next property, right? Another 1,000 apartment buildings that are $10,000 per month, right? So another 1,000 units that are $10,000 per month. And then if we don't wanna put any money down, if we wanna do it zero money down, get a loan from the bank, a million dollars, maybe 7%, 8% interest, whatever the case may be, right? You pay back the bank, you don't gotta worry about that anymore. You take your profits, get some food, right? Watch a movie, so take a break, take a breather. Right, get some food, get some, get some good ass food, right? Just have a chill night on, on, on that day. And so why I say if it's very daunting to get into real estate zero money down, then the other option is just to do SMMA for real estate agents. So for SMMA, it's very simple. Zapier is a free app, literally. Anyone can use Zapier and anyone can make hella money off of Zapier. Well, how do you use Zapier? How do you make money off of Zapier, right? Every business owner needs a payment processor, Stripe. Now what's great about Stripe is it's integrated with Python. What's great about Zapier is that it's also integrated with Python. So Stripe integrated with Python, Zapier integrated with Python, then the apps go like this. The apps are netting together. The apps are congealing together in the sense that you don't need 
to have any money to begin a payment processor because Zapier and Stripe are all you need. Then what's crazy about Stripe is that they're becoming more and more automated. So it used to be you need to use Zapier, integrate Stripe with Zapier, and then Zapier will automate all of your Stripe payment processes. What's crazy about the updates and the devs at Stripe, they're like, man, fuck Zapier, it's way too complicated. Let's just automate everything within Stripe. So Stripe now, you're able to automate everything. When the bill goes out, when the SMA owner gets charged, right? And then why I say Zapier is also important though, is because that is what the app we're using to deliver on the services. So for a real estate a a SMA owner, if I am doing media marketing for them, I literally just put all the data through Zapier. Then what Zapier will do is integrate hella apps, apps like Google Sheets, apps like LinkedIn, apps like Close.io, apps like MailChimp, apps, other uh, hella CRMs, right? Asana, X, Y, and Z. And so what I'm saying is why Zapier is so powerful is that all you need is the skill. All you need is the skill. Zero money down. All you need is the skill of how to use Zapier. Then once you understand how to use Zapier, because Zapier is an automation app, you will almost automatically get clients into your funnel and then onto your calendar and you get booked appointments, right? And so what that process looks like, you're gonna use Calendly, right? You're gonna create a landing page where customers will, let's say they watch a YouTube video, let's say they see an Instagram post, let's say they see a Facebook post, let's say they see even like a Snapchat post, a TikTok post, a Pinterest post, a post on any social media platform, they get interested, right? If we use the Godfather offer and we hit the audience's RAS, the person will click on the link, go to my landing page, fill out the email, fill out the phone number, fill out the name, then we will send them all the stuff that they want or that their RAS is firing to hear. Then they get on to the client onboarding thing and then we're just sleeping. We're sleeping because it's all automated. The fact that automation is so powerful that now what automation does is look for keywords in people's profiles, look for keywords in people's text messages, look for keywords in people's profiles, their captions, their messages, all that stuff. So if it's a real estate agent, what the AI will do is look for their text messages, look for their profile words, look for keywords in emails that the person is sending. If it's real estate, yachts, Airbnbs, how to make money online, those kind of high ticket vehicles of how to get rich. What the AI will do is target that audience specifically. Then, right, cold call God. If any of you saw my recent posts, I posted a video called cold call God. What's going to happen is the automation is going to organize a list of potential prospects, phone numbers. Then, you, then um, depending on how deep the AI can go, it'll literally show the profile next to the phone number. It'll literally show how qualified the prospect is. And that way, the, me as a remote systems integrator, I can filter out, okay, which high ticket vehicle um, business owner do I want to work with? And then after that, if that's the case, I dial the phone number, right? And what's crazy about AI and crazy about automation, I don't even have to talk to the business owner. Sly broadcast, sly broadcast, sly broadcast. All I do is make a pre-recorded message. Sly, pro sly broadcast will send a voicemail automatically to the prospect that I want to potentially prospect. So I don't even actually have to cold call. When I say cold call God, it's more of like doing a sales pitch on slide broadcast that'll send a voicemail. Now, here's the thing is sometimes people don't listen to their voicemail box. That's all right. Snapchat exists. Instagram exists. TikTok exists. I can make one warm video, one warm welcoming video, and then just have the automation send that warm welcoming video to all the potential prospects, right? So on top of slide broadcasts sending voicemails to the potential prospects, on top of sending organic videos on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, X, Y, and Z to potential prospects, then on top of that, what we're able to do is, what was the last thing? Sending voice recordings through podcast. So automation is so powerful in the sense that the automation can send a voicemail 
can send the organic video and also the podcast, right? What I'm doing with my with, with my podcast is the link. The technology is so crazy. All you need is a link to hear my voice at this point. If you guys put in a link on Safari, Google, whatever, all of a sudden that link will send you to a website like a to the Spotify podcast and you hit play. The technology doesn't make any sense. How could random letters and numbers on a fucking black screen get me to hear my voice to someone else? It's insane. Technology is insane, right? So what we do is have the automation send the voicemail, have the automation send the organic video, and finally have the automation send the, the podcast. Now, what's insane of the audience and depending on the audience that you're choosing, I can make the podcast as specific as possible. Literally make the entire podcast just for one person. That's what I've done before. In the beginning of my sales process, in the beginning of my sales journey, I would literally make podcasts specifically for one potential prospect and then send them the link. That's how micro, micro, micro niche it is to get into sales because based on scarcity and because it is easier to close 10 clients for 10K, 25K, 50K, 100K a month than it is to close 100 clients, 1,000 clients for lower to get, let's say 10K a month, right? And what's gonna happen is now that you are charging a high ticket, 100K a month for only 10 potential prospects, what's gonna happen is you are in a huge high vehicle that if you de over deliver on the service, the people that enjoy your services are gonna give you refer are gonna give you referrals and other high ticket vehicle entrepreneurs in that realm. Y'all see what I'm saying? So the the hack is to do a lot for scarcity. Now let me explain this. Do y'all understand Chanel? What is it? Fucking Louis Vuitton, fucking Dior. What else? They're Gucci, all these other huge products. They're able to mass produce on scarcity. Let me explain. Let's say Chanel wants to create a new brand. They'll make only a thousand of that product and that's it. Never make it ever again. However, it's still like a high yield. A thousand products is a lot. But compared to the number of people in the world, however, it's still super expensive because it's based on scarcity. There's only a thousand of that single Chanel product. So why I am explaining based on scarcity is to do a lot is because Chanel, even though it's scarce, only a thousand products, they do a lot of marketing. They do a lot of clout. They do a lot of, hey, if you have this, it means you're special. That's the memorabilia behind NFTs, right? And so in terms of people that are beginning the sales process, why I say it is to have a lot is to have a lot to offer. Your service is literally gonna make the entrepreneur's life easier. That is how you pitch the, the sale. All I'm here for is to make the entrepreneur's life easy. And then what happens is you over deliver and do a lot for that entrepreneur with little work, right? Because of automation. However, it's based on scarcity. So even though it is scarce and it's like a limited number, still a lot happening because it's based on the vehicle, yachts apartment buildings, skyscrapers, amusement parks, rocket ship building, right? All these other huge high ticket vehicles in the sense that even though it's only 10 clients or 10 prospects, right? Their impact is huge. You all understand what I'm saying? Like even though it's Chanel only, let's say make a thousand of that single product, their impact is huge. Let's say Louis Vuitton only makes a hundred of a certain product. Even though it's only 100 products, the impact is humongous because everyone's like, oh, look out for this new scarce item that's coming out and the whole world knows about it. So the same idea it happens with sales. Oh, um, he's only worked with 10 clients and he's making a million dollars a year. Like, how is that possible? You see what I'm saying? So everyone, my name is SLC and this video definitely helps.